robot we fire in. See, I grab a little bit blue again, a happy blue, fire it in there on top again, go from the top down, and make it lighter, 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 and leave a couple openings already. <coughs> See, and it gets lighter, and you build yourself a nice horizon line. See? Now, the same color you have on your brush, fire it right into the water. Fire it right into the water, because I told you I want to have water there anyway. Same colors in the water, and everything is just beautiful. Maybe a little bit darker. <clears throat> a bit darker. And again, the same thing. Can you see? You get the depth by having it dark on the bottom and going lighter, 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 lighter. Watch, I will put more dark on now, even more dark. <coughs> see, and then, see, by having the magic white right on, <coughs> having the magic white right on the canvas, it is wet and wet, you see? The, the, the magic white right goes right into your brush and gets lighter, 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 lighter. See? Oh, I didn't tell you. I put the magic white on always on the white canvas. I just don't want to waste time and, and, and fiddle around with magic white. That's like you paint the house or whatever. <clears throat> I want to have more time for you to, to, to see how we get it right. <clears throat> see, again, uh, no paint. Aim for not too much paint on. See, now I build myself a nice, Nice horizon line. Beautiful. Can you see the water is lying flat, going in like that? And the sky is going deep because I have a dark on top and lighter, lighter, lighter there. Good. That's a good step forward. Everyone that wants to paint should think about uh, it's easy, <coughs> easy to make a sky like a curtain hanging down and easy to hang the water down. A clean brush, make sure you have no paint in on your brush, and just hypnotize the whole thing. Less paint, as, m as less paint you have, as more power you got. Never forget, you have to paint on top of paint. See, beautiful. See, I can go over the whole painting like this, and I don't, I don't, uh, <clears throat> don't move it anymore. Do you understand? The, this paint I use is very thick and strong and compact. If you use a soupy, nothing paint, forget it, you never get it. See, that's why I always like to talk about that heavy, thick paint. So, now, maybe we put a happy, couple happy clouds in. Oh, white. And the touch of red, I always like to add a bit of the sunshine in red is a nice color because in the blue yellow is not the right thing to do. See, touch of red and right in here to the white. See, wash your brush, wash your brush. Again, the same treatment, maybe here a little bit, maybe here a bit higher. So make it unregular, so like you see clouds, like you would like to see the clouds. Wash the brush. See? Wash the brush. <coughs> It gives you a happy sky already. Now, you can, can put the shadow in, put the little shadow underneath. What I will do here, I use a bit of blue and white and a touch of alizarin crimson. See, can you see this color here? Touch of alizarin crimson. Oh, a bit more white, I think it's already too dark. Maybe touch more alizarin crimson. Now we see. Yeah, it's just right. You see? That, uh, that you can put underneath 
underneath the cloud, see, always let the sun come from that side, see, then you just have the shadow, the clouds have a shadow, be underneath there. Happy wandering clouds, happy wandering clouds, see. And I like to fire in and like to be live on my canvas. That's nice. <laughs> Maybe here a little bit. Take a little, little bit here and there. See, and all of a sudden you really get that the why you want that. <clears throat> Try to pull even the light in, see, or the dark in. Depends on what's more. Here I put the light in because the light's coming from up there, and uh, and here I put the dark in. The depends on what whatever you can have a whole dark cloud there, because this cloud is in the shadow of the other clouds. The the, the why you find the excuse for that. There you are. Beautiful. Now, use that big brush, dry, <coughs> hypnotize the whole thing. See, now I pull it all nice together, and it comes nice together. Look at that, nice and soft like clouds would be. Sometimes sometime I use the corner of the brush, see, the corner of the brush, just to, to make it uh, munch it in a little bit there. There, you see, happy little clouds on the sky. Now I use white, Van Dyke brown, Prussian blue, a little crimson, and I mix myself a kind of a mountain paint, and I will have a far away mountain. You can fire off in the, in the clouds or whatever you think, you think. I scrape, I scrape, I scrape. I don't want to have any, see, not too much paint, not too much paint. Scrape it. Just see how I, I just uh, don't add too much paint on. Oh, something like this. See, we, we go with the whole mountain range in the back and have the lake coming down there and have a little island in that lake. Maybe here we go up, down, that's the high peak there again. See, now use, use your, use your big, uh, big brush again. Use your big brush again. Pull, <coughs> the, with the big brush, pull this down, pull this down, pull this down, and make a mist there. Out of the mist is that mountain come. But try to, see, I try to mark uh, lines already down there. Like you see in the distance, it's coming down. See? But I aim not too much paint. I don't want any much paint there. It's easier to paint with no paint on. <coughs> see? Out of the mist is the, is the mountain coming now. That's nice. Now you can highlight that if you want. Use white, white and a touch of red. Here I take that blue out. I don't need it right now. White and a touch of red. See, and then you just fire in far away little light movements. In 
not wonderful when we hear that water, you are so close to nature, and I think that is what is very important to me anyway. in a cloudy sky, you can work with sun patches. You don't have to have the sun not everywhere. Okay, maybe here we just cut it off like this. <coughs> maybe this one we make a bit steeper. Like a big triangle, pull them down there. Maybe here in between. See? And you create yourself a happy little mountain wall there. Happy little mountain wall. So, maybe here a little bit, like a flat hill coming down. See, something like this. Use your big brush now. Use your big brush. And, and you can use white now, watch. I show you. White and red. White and red. White and red. A touch of red into that. <clears throat> but not too much. I ground myself already there. Something like this. And then, watch, you can do it like this come up from the bottom. See? See how you do it? Come up from the bottom. Come up from the bottom. Here I would just add to this line. But add to this line. Go only so far. <clears throat> Think there's a certain timber line that could, you can X, that could be grout, whatever it is in that almighty distance there. See? They give you a thousand details by doing that. Look at that. Just a couple of touches like this. And isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Wherever you live, there is an airplane flying by. You can't help, isn't it? You have to live with that. Man cannot run away from his headaches anymore. We cook the soup and we have to eat it. Eat it and be happy with it. <clears throat> See, now I create here kind of a far away distance line and uh, you can use a fan brush and a little bit of grout. The I grab a couple of trees, make a couple of trees with sap green and a touch of blue. I use, see, I use the same colors and this is a bit of a distance. Distance colors are blue. Maybe I create here kind of a almighty shoreline. Don't make it too green, not too green. It looks already a bit too green. See, that's why I go into the blue a lot. Can you see it? See? More blue. Blue. Think about blue, blue yonder. Blue, blue yonder. Blue, blue yonder. And if you want, you can pull it up a little bit. It gives you kind of a grout or like whatever standing up. You stand it up there. You know, 
talking about country living, it is true. We get so used to big cities and to airplane noise and to all that. So it is a part of our living. <clears throat> we can't help. See, what you do now, use a clean brush and pull it down a little bit, like this. Can you see it? Look. Can you see? I go in, I touch it in there, and pull it down a little bit. See? See what I do? I go into that and pull it down a little bit. And that gives me a little bit of a reflection in the water right there. See? <clears throat> now, use your almighty knife and have a touch of red and yellow and red and maybe a touch of blue. See, that gives you kind of a distance, uh, shoreline color. Not strong enough, not strong enough. I have to have it a bit lighter. So we fire in a bit lighter. That's it, that's it, good. See, that is it. A nice, happy little shoreline. There you are. <clears throat> Go right through, because we cover up a lot in the... M I, will, I will put the island in the middle there somewhere. Somewhere, wherever you think it fits the best, whatever you want to cover up, see? See, touch here a little bit, there a little bit, there a little bit. Give them a little bit of water lines here and there, and there and there, and there and there, and strain it out with that big brush. See, that, that makes the lines nice and straight. Good. <clears throat> now you can use a two-inch brush and I use a close-up color. See, a close-up color. Sap green, alizarin crimson, the kind of a watch. See, now, the why? Look, my brush is loaded. That brush is loaded. See, again, I just move it like that, and now, depends on how close, I would say, I want to... Oh, here, this, this, this spot. Leave this look so good, isn't it? We move that island a little bit to the side. Isn't that a beautiful tree? If you fire that beautiful tree right in there and right into the water, then just put one almighty tree in and have an island if you want to. <clears throat> Again, load your brush as long as you get the detail, see the, loo the loose movements. See, that's what I want you to learn, the loose branch movements. The loose, loose branch movement. I will use a, a touch of Van Dyke Brown into that, to have it a bit darker. See, I want to get rid of this line there. See, have it a bit darker. No, I don't see it anymore. But see, see, this is what you, I wish you would learn. This, the branches. Let the branches, can you make a nice close up there? See, that is what will make you the master. People have respect for that. Because a, a guy that never paints, and he sees all those little details, he thinks you must struggle like hell. Look at this little, that, that alone sells. This, this little branch sells already. See? Oh, maybe here we put the other tree in. See? And this it to the outside. See that, look at that stroke. There's the other stroke. Look at that, oh, ah, oh, aren't you happy? Is this fantastic? 
See, if you can do that, I tell you, you, you will be very, very happy about that. <clears throat> this is what I think it is wonderful to paint like that. And I'm very, very happy this I have the right to this, the, this, the, let me show you that. See, now fires right into the water. Fires right into the water. <laughs> Darker. Usually in the water, it's always better if you have it a bit darker. Rather darker in the water than, than on top there. I will not put too much in. I don't want to cover up too much. See here, 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 like this. There you go. How many trees you want to put in? It doesn't matter. But whatever you think, you can spoil a lot by, by putting too many trees in. No, I have to cover that up. I hate to do that, but it, I, I wish I could have a little bit of some extra there. I hope I can do it the same good with the other tree there. Yeah, I do good too. So don't worry now. See, I don't worry too much with uh, covering that up. Sometime, it is good luck the way you do it. See? But using you know your brush, and I know the paint. See? Have that nice clothes in there. Good, 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 good. See? Now, now we put the tree trunk in there. See, in the water, in the water, you don't have to just add, put a little, little touch in there, little touch into the water, little touch into the water. See, maybe here's the other tree trunk, a little one, little touch into the water. Maybe here, a little one, a touch into the water. See, now use your big brush, dry, and pull that all in. See, now all of a sudden those long lines came down in the water, and now make water out of that by moving left and right. See, for, but watch, watch this is a good movement. See, sometimes you, you, you make it, look, you make it, see, oh, oh that is a cellar. Can you see it? Can you see it? See, that's what it is. Sometimes you make it just so that it, it just dances down and fire in that water like this. See? See? Pull in from the outside. Sometime like oh, that's good. No, you, 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 you. Ah, that that ease that pilot is always moving behind me and should be in front of me. It would be nice if you could holler there, home. Holler. See, look at that. See, put that in, and it gives you a nice, nice, powerful, stony island there. See, then you use a bit of yellow, use a bit of yellow, and fire in a bit of highlights there. See? Fire in a little bit of highlight there. See here a little happy bush. Fire that bush in the right into the water. Maybe here a little bit and there a little bit. And that's the set. Now you, 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 you again. 
make water out of that. Maybe here, that little touch I would like to have in there too. Here, here that too. Maybe here, that too. <coughs> and there you are. See? Put a little bit of a shoreline in if you want there. See, something like this. Something like this. See, something like this. And beautiful. Isn't that nice? Aren't you happy too with me? We are happy together. It's always nice together. Being together is always a happy, happy time. See? Maybe here we put just one more in, and here one more, and one more. How would you call it finish? Thank you for watching me. Bye-bye. W. Alexander Matt.